Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a 4 k I hope you are all well. Um, firstly, I do need to say a very big thank you to Suzanne, who sent me um, this box of goodies. So I've got all sorts in here. So I've got a magnet. I have a handmade card by Suzanne. There is a handmade little notebook. There is another bigger notebook, uh, red backed shrike on the top. There is stickers. There is chocolates. Um, ooh, pumpkin, pumpkin flavoured chocolate. Not, oh, that's the packaging. <laughs> that's the bubbles that I popped. Um, some gorgeous little cards slash gift tags. A very, very usable Xyron cartridge. Um, some gorgeous pink tweezers. And also this beautiful little like tin. It's like a band-aid type tin. But it actually has some Queen & Co items in there, some little brads and some little tags, which I've not seen in a while. I love this Queen & Co stuff. So thank you ever so much to Suzanne. I had a lovely little time going through all of that and loads of it will definitely be put to good use. So thank you. Right, it is time to work on my next section of Mother Earth. I have been working on this last whole section with you and I think it's just going to continue. Let's use, let's use the new little zesty blue tray. This one comes out on Friday um, and it is 10pm BST, British Summer Time. I did say GMT on the video because I forgot our clocks had changed um, and therefore we change we change time zone. Um, but I did put a little banner up over the top. So if you weren't looking at the screen, apologies, it is BST, not GMT, but it is still 10 p.m. We're gonna see how 10 p.m. goes. We'll have to see if we need to change it when our clocks change. But I need some black first. I am on more of a hair. I'm still going to use Zesty because a lot of the other colours I don't need anywhere near as many. And I think I'm going to use the new Admiral Zest tray when I do this one. But I am going to use the new pen. I have popped a new glue dot in, so I'm going to have that fun. And I've popped a new metal tip in as well. I haven't yet put a straightener in the end. I do like to use the smaller straighteners, so I did pick up a pack of 100 small plastic straighteners. Our pens come with the tips, come with multi-places, and they do come with a straightener, but they're a longer one. And they don't fit in my pen holder as nice. But I can't get them to come with the smaller straighteners, so I just add a smaller straightener myself. Then I, I say I picked up a pack of 100 from AliExpress. Um, they're just little ones. There they are. So they're just a little bit smaller and they just fit in my pen holder nicely. But yes, I am excited to use this pen. I have absolutely loved this pen ever since um, we picked it and ordered it in bulk. It is a limited edition. We don't have the storage space to, to store too many pens. We like the option to be there for people that like to collect different resin pens, um, but we don't have the space to store loads, so we keep a stock of standard colours and then bring in different ones, a bit like with the trays. I'd love to have, oh let me zoom in, I'd love to have, you know, like all the different colours of trays as standard stock, but without buying 50 printers and having a setup for 50 printers to be able to print all the different colours, it's just not something that is possible. 
but we are say there is the odd time when the standard colours don't need printing because there is a stock up so we are trying to make sure that we get of course keep the printers in use and get other colours done then in fact we have had a couple of supply issues for things this last week or so last week or two I think there's just a couple that's decided to test us so you will notice that the cover paper holders have gone well they're currently hidden on the website um, the supplier that does the cover paper holders has decided to discontinue them um, so we can't seem to get hold of them anymore to brand them and sell them so we have found a different supplier it is a different passport uh, or cover paper holder it will give us the opportunity to potentially provide different colors and we're hoping that we can lower the price point as well we just need to confirm the quality when it arrives is quality that we're happy with oh this is a this is a new glue dot, so we are on sticky heaven at the moment. Keep dabbing it on my, I say jumper, it's a very thin, lightweight top, more than it is a jumper, but I'll keep dabbing it on that, see if it calms it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, cover paper holders, we have ordered um, some that we think will be a good replacement we just need them in-house um, to check that they are and that they are suitable because i'm not happy selling something that's not a quality i'm happy with working with myself so do bear with us while we restock those we also have had a bit of trouble with one of our filament providers one that we actually use extremely often and is used for all the pink trays um, they're currently having problems shipping to the UK and they are apparently trying to fix it however they don't have an estimated time so we are slowly slowly but surely um, quicker than I'm hoping running out of some of our pink trays so we are looking at maybe replacing the pink tray with a different colour for a period of time until we can get the stock back up so what we'll do is we'll have white grey and another colour as a basic stock item so not a limited edition um, we just need to get a fair amount of stock printed of it because whenever we do offer uh, another colour and we're not limited on stock, it can orders can go a little bit crazy and I don't like people having to wait for their orders to ship out. So we're trying to print as many as we can so we can have a really nice stock a bit like when we did the zesty trays when we launched the zesty trays in the standard colors we printed a huge amount of each so that we could cope with the demand without people having to wait and it worked well for the zesty trays so the limited color I expect well limited I say limited the temporary standard basic colour um, which may or may not stay say a lot of it depends um, on when we can get the pink that we like back in there are other manufacturers of a pale pink but we want the filament that we're happy with the quality of so we're going to change it up for you guys for a bit and if it works well we may do it with another colour change up another colour um, but we do need to make sure that there are basic colours available for any 
any new people that haven't yet tried out our trays. Right, stop sticking to my glue dot now, please. You get my glue dot woes along with this one. I normally try and refill um, or, you know, put a new metal tip into a pen off camera. I don't mind a little bit of stickiness, but I try to limit how often I'm having to unstick a pen. But you're getting it in real time this time. So, yeah, they are our supplier issues for the moment. So do bear with those cover paper holders. Will be different, but they will be coming back. But hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be able to offer more variety of colour and potentially be at a better price point for you guys, which is always good because we like variety when we can. Um, and yeah, pink trays are very limited at the moment. The grey and the white are available, fully stocked. There will still be trays that people can pick up if they are wanting to, but pink, pink might disappear for a short while until we're able to bring that one back, but we'll bring an alternative colour in its place to keep you guys going in the meantime. And of course, we still have our limited edition, which is gonna vary between being two different colours or being the same colour. We're gonna mix it up according to sizes. So this blue tray has been done in a large size before. So that is why this one is the zesty size. Um, and I know people do want repeats of certain colours in both sizes. That is something we will get to. Um, a lot will depend because quite a few of our favourite colours, quite a few of the, the popular colours and the colours we would like to do again come from the same supplier as our pink. Unfortunately, so we may have to we may have to wait. As soon as we are able to order from them again, we will be putting in a big order so that we can meet all the demands slash requests, more requests than demand. But yeah, that's enough talk about trays. I feel like I have waffled on now for far too long considering how many comments I have to get through. I still have loads. I don't even know if I'm gonna get through them all um, while I finish up this painting. Time will tell. I have been working on my small paint gem paintings, my cocktails and my succulents or house plants, the house plants edition. I have been working on those throughout the week. I've been able to do one or two in an evening. Um, I haven't yet got around to bringing out a dig, big dig, a big diamond painting. Um, due to our new puppy Luna. I'm trying to limit how many things just while she settles in and listens to commands to not be jumping about, which she has her moments when she's better than others. And if you hear any background shouting, I think she is currently on what we call Looney Luna time, um, where she gets a little bit more a little bit more playful. It's definitely more of a playful time, but it's just teaching her now what is acceptable playtime and what isn't. It takes a while. So I've been working on my little ones. Um, and then I do have a 30 by 40 as well to do. But once I've finished this big one, um, it will probably be a week or so, you know, I'll de-kit it one week and then I'll kit up another one the week after. And maybe it's just one that I do during weapon chats, who knows. Heaven and Earth Designs, I will pick that back up again soon. That's just currently on pause because life is so busy. And as much as I set myself a challenge to do each one each year, I didn't know necessarily what life was going to throw at me, i.e. new puppy. 
So I'm rolling with the punches and I'm doing what works for now, which means I'm working on Mother Earth. And I'll pick up Heaven and Earth designs again soon. I'm not sure when. I'm just going to take life easy with that at the moment. And maybe I'll, I'll try and do some more off camera at some point. Say I have had one of them out on the dining table. I've just not got round to doing any. So maybe once I finish this one, I'll try and focus on that one for a week or so and see if I can get some progress on it and maybe take the pressure off on the other one and see how we go. I'm not sure if you heard a shouting then. I think I think playful time may have gone a bit a bit too far if you heard that shouting. Uh, so we're on comments from a few weeks ago, which is my manic time getting the kitchen done when I was quieter on YouTube than normal for a bit. Life just keeps throwing things at us, doesn't it? Um, I'm glad it's not quite ready time for June waffle yet because that will be, I'm hoping life will be a bit calmer, ready to bring, by June, ready to bring the June waffle back um, and get that done. But in, in the meantime, you've got Mother Earth waffle. So yeah, Darcy says, hello, Rebecca. She says, glad you're back to my missing kitchen. She said, I understand about needing to get your new kitchen done. And yes, it's, it's a, it needs stuff doing still, but it is at the point where it is a, you know, a functional, pretty to look at kitchen. Um, just needs splash back and some touch up paint where we have the extractor, the extractor fan fitted to the wall and all you know electrical wires from that just need filling in and a bit of paint over the top we will get to it we will get to it the past few weekends have, have more been about making sure life functions with with a puppy than than anything else we garden proofed or puppy proofed Part of the garden last week so that kept us busy and yeah this weekend hubby's been doing the gardens and cars and stuff fixing bits that need fixing on cars and yeah life just time just flies doesn't it um she says glad you were able to live through it she says it can get very crazy um, and she hopes that I fight off the cold quickly. Yeah, the cold did seem to disappear after after a few days. It didn't completely knock me for six, which is good. But yeah, I'm sure I'll get another one soon enough just to just to test me a little bit more. Um, 2010-1946 Iffy. I love saying that name. Let me just get another colour. She says, lovely to have you back, Rebecca. You've been missed, but I'm sure that we all understand you need a week to sort out your kitchen. Sorry you've got a cold. She says, hope it doesn't last too long. Great video today, as always. Thank you. Uh, Louise also says... Uh, she says, we missed you. Hope you feel better soon and glad you have a new working kitchen. I love my working kitchen. I love my kitchen. I actually don't mind pottering about in there, straightening up, cleaning up. I've never mopped so much in my life, though that is partly puppy, more than new kitchen. But New kitchen definitely makes things easier and I'm definitely glad that puppy came after kitchen and not before because that would have been that would have been completely different. That's for sure. Okay, I've got this glue dot picking up all sorts of bits. 
uh, Denise said, she says, your renovation inspired me. She said to stop letting my anxiety win and call up a company. She says, we normally would have a few out, but we weren't sure if we could even afford to do what we wanted. Um, she said to get a bid on some work we want done. Good on you. You just need to start the process. It's never nice. If you keep thinking you can't live through it, then you never get it done. But if you do just get the ball rolling, it's a lot easier to deal with when it just happens. It's like anything. Any sort of emergency appears, any sort of drama appears, you tend to deal with it if you haven't known it's coming and you tend to deal with it pretty well. You may suffer from a little bit of shock afterwards, but um, I always find that sometimes you just need to not overthink in relation to, you know, the upset that a kitchen can cause, for example, or any work can cause, because you do tend to deal when you're in the thick of it. Um, she said she replaced her terrible flooring in the downstairs about six years ago. She said it began having issues about a year in and got really bad about two years ago, she said. Um, in the US, she says we have a flooring called laminate. Yep, yeah, we have that as well. Uh, she said that's essentially a press board type material covered in something pretty. Uh, it can't get wet, she said, as it's a floating floor. It expands and contracts as wood does, so they leave a gap away from the walls. Yeah, we actually got, we've got laminate a few places in our house. Um, we actually have engineered wood flooring in the conservatory. That seems slightly different, but that seems to be holding up really well. But to be fair, our laminate in the rest of the house is is really good good wearing um she says the gaps have over time caused the floors to slide apart and they won't slide back into place um they're also easily damaged with water yes they can be we do have tiles in the kitchen and we went for the engineered flooring in the conservatory because it can withstand the water just a little bit better it's definitely not you know I wouldn't say to leave a pile of water on the floor but it can definitely deal with it better um she says she'll never oh easily damaged with water as we have uh, several spots that damage has been caused as the kids have left something to drip she says she'll never install that type of flooring again even though they may now make versions that can withstand water. I get that. If you've had that sort of bad experience with something before, I can completely understand, even though technology's changed, you just would be forever wondering if it would happen again. Um, she says she'd rather have bare concrete than laminate flooring again. Uh, she wished she'd just waited to have to have the money for tile from the get-go. Um, live and learn. Yeah, I mean, it, it's one of those. It is a lot cheaper than tile. Quite often it can be fitting, but the actual way it's fitted that can make it worse um, and not withstand water as well. Though we haven't had laminate in the likes of any kitchen or anywhere um, and we've been pretty lucky that we don't have anywhere that's got extremely wet that has laminate in shook it too hard then ended up losing one of my diamonds right come on last little ones settle in your places nearly <coughs> um so she said, oh, this is a long comment. She says, we've now got plans um, to put in tile. She says, and not only will it go where we currently have laminate, um, but also in places like the laundry room, bathrooms and kitchen. Uh, 
yeah we've got tile in the kitchen um and that that stuff is so hard wearing um so she said oh so in the moment she has vinyl type flooring in her kitchen bathroom pantry that sort of place she has a vinyl flooring we used to have vinyl in the kitchen before we put in tiles the only problem i find with vinyl is sometimes it can either move or get ripped you know moving out a washing machine or something like that and it definitely doesn't like it if you drop an iron on it it's, it's not a fan of heat um so she said her old craft room that is now her oldest son's room will go back to being carpet because that's what he wants and even though they're all getting older they still like to pile in one room together on weekends school breaks and summer vacation and his room having a hard floor means they can't sleep on the floor which they like to do um my husband was very much against doing the floors if we couldn't redo the upstairs second bathroom because it's been unusable for longer than my youngest has been alive that is some dealing with that feat uh, she says much to my shock we can actually afford to get the essential parts redone we can't replace the vanity sink counter or mirror uh, in the bathroom right now but the rest of it will be ripped out and replaced making the bathroom safe and functional awesome um, she's put off the bat bathroom reservation renovation because of anxiety some of it is the unknowns but mostly because loud noises are a trigger uh, she says nothing is noisier than construction uh, she says but it needs doing she's looking forward to the end results it's going to get another color while i'm reading the rest of this um but not the process of getting it done she keeps telling herself that the only way out is through uh, and she can't get to enjoying um the enjoying it part without having to go through the work being done and that is true that is true um I mean, I think it, it's one of those, you know, if it's the loud noises and the banging, things like that with construction that do get you, then maybe you need to have headphones on, listening to music or something so that the louder noises are dulled. Or maybe it's a matter of working out who can be in the house while it's being done if you want somebody in the house while it's being done. Or maybe get some outdoor work done. Anything that just puts a little bit more distance between your ears and the noise, maybe that'll help with the noise not being too loud because of the fact that you've you've buffered it with other sounds. Maybe that'll help. Um, she says, speaking of getting used to the layout, she says she still had to look for things that she hadn't really used or needed uh, since moving her craft space upstairs she said and her mind immediately goes to where she kept it before moving it because of her need for decent furniture she wasn't just moving stuff and setting it up she had to rearrange about 75 percent of the space and she almost never remembers the new home for everything she needs it's frustrating she said especially when you spend more time looking um, and don't find it than the task that you need it for would have taken yet yeah. when you say to yourself i'll do this five minute task and spend 10 minutes looking for the item you need to do said five minute task i get that um it's amazing how many general household problems can be solved with a trip to my craft space if only I could find the thing that solved the problem when I needed it oh, sounds like you need a revamp of your craft space now that you've lived in it for a while Denise maybe that's something that you could start to do while the renovation's being done maybe that's something that will 
maybe not dim the noise but definitely take your mind off it keep, keep yourself busy is when you start going to look for something to do a project where is it you're looking first where is it you're thinking it should be and maybe have a bit of a rearrange so that you go to where it should be where your mind tells you it should be it's a bit like when we just you know when we were doing the layout of the kitchen and deciding where stuff should go a lot of it was a lot of it was okay what is used in cooking what is the cooking things cooking preparation all that sort of stuff right what cupboards can we give that nearest to the cooker nearest to the oven let's you know this is the side that we're likely to prepare food on even though it's actually a thinner side that food tends to get prepared on it's only 400 mil deep rather than 600 mil deep it's still the go-to place because it's next to the oven and we have a mixture of 400 deep and then it goes into an L that's 600 deep. But that is that is where they tend to prepare food for cooking because it can go into the pan quicker. So that is where we put everything that was, you know, preparation related. It was making sure that the cups went in the drawer under the coffee machine, um, you know, and that plates and bowls, small plates and bowls were higher up in the drawers than the big plates. The big plates are in a lower drawer. Um, not as, it is easy to get to, but you have to bend down to get them rather than staying stood up. But you tend to get plates, the big plates anyway, once a day maybe twice a day but you're doing it for the whole household at the same time because it's meal time whereas the small plates and the bowls people grab cereal at different times they'll grab toast at different times you know so that drawer people will go into more so therefore we have that as you know the easier accessible drawer and we did a bit of thinking about this before we started putting stuff into the kitchen. But we also knew that if it didn't work, it wasn't staying that way. So maybe that's what you need to do while the work is being done, Denise, is categorise your craft room. I'd love to come and help. You're just a bit far. Um, categorise your craft room into sections like you would a kitchen. So have a section where you maybe have your tools or depending on what crafts you do, maybe split up what crafts you do according to the section. And if need be, have the tools that go with that craft in the same section. So that when you are going to look for something in your craft room, you find it. One thing um, that I also, this actually really helped me with my craft space. Sorry, I am talking a lot now about one comment, aren't I? But this really helped me with my craft space. So I don't know if anybody watches um, Cassandra on YouTube. She's called Clutterbug. And she talks about the different types of people and how they are best being organised or organising their stuff. So basically you're a different type of bug. So I think a cricket is somebody that likes to have everything hidden away. So there's nothing to see clutter wise. Um, you don't like to see anything, but you also like it micro sorted. So you want it sorted into those small individual things. Then there is a ladybug who also doesn't like to see clutter and see things, um, but doesn't want to 
put it into little individual pots. They just want it in one big tub. So a bit like a kid's toy box. Do you know what I mean? The toys go in the toy box. You can't see them, uh, but they're not sorted out into different things within that toy box. Then there is, um, this is the two I get confused with now. There then is a butterfly who likes to see things and see things out, but they also like it the small categorize, categories and then what's the other one there's another one that's basically they like to see the stuff out but they don't want it sorted into small you'd have to check out her channel she she does an explanation of it she actually lets you there's actually a quiz that she does as well so you can find out what type of organizer you are and the idea is then that you use the organisation style that suits you. And one of the enlightening things for me was that you can actually be a mixture of them. And people in your house can also be a mixture of them. And I've changed the way some things are organised according to the house as much as me so not just me so for example um we used to have it where you know coats and bags and stuff when you came in needed to go into a cupboard and be hung up i didn't like to see them i very much don't like to see clutter in my house if i can help it however you would find that people were not putting their coats away or their bags away because they're not the same type of person so in effect it was getting left out because opening the cupboard and hanging it up was just didn't enter the household space so for me that was hard because that wasn't the look I wanted but actually going for just a, a hung up, a hanging, um, just hooks on the wall, basically just a strip of hooks on the wall. So yes, the coats are on show, but people always put their coats up now because they wanted more of the butterfly, well it's butterfly, the, the one that basically you just hang your coat up. And people will put their coats away in the house now because it's, it's more the rest of the style of the house and, oh, and the people in the house. So there's, there's compromises that you can sort of find work better for, for your family. But the most enlightening thing for me was while I would love to be a cricket, in my brain I'm a cricket. You open a drawer and it's all cut all separate compartments for separate things and I look at that and it makes me happy time doesn't always work that way for me Cricket's problem can be that if they haven't got the perfect system then they don't put it away at all so it doesn't get put away because they can't put it in the perfect system and in the perfect organisation and all neat how they want it. So the enlightening thing for me was that while I love the cricket style, my life and my business of, of my life to get the look I wanted, which is not the clutter and stuff about, I needed to become or work in the style of a ladybug, i.e. It goes away, it goes in this box, it goes in this tub, it goes in this cupboard. And let's not fret about how the inside of that cupboard looks. And that has helped me to find that I can still look around and see less. And occasionally I will go into certain things and I will, you know, section them up. My filing cabinet is extremely sectioned, but I also know that I don't always have the time to put paperwork away as I should, as I want to, in that very organised system. 
So therefore I have a place where paperwork goes until one, I have the time and two, you know, my brain is in a, an organised mode. Um, and that's when it gets put away into the nice system. So it's like a two step process for me. However, and this is the, the point I was trying to get to. See, this is why it's a waffle. In my craft room, I am completely different. In my craft room, whether it be, you know, the creative side of me, for a lot of things, I like the butterfly effect, especially when I was scrapbooking, because I would forget things that I have got. Not so much tools and things like that. I would I would remember I had those. Um, but the smaller things, the sheets of stickers and you know, the, the things that you can add to a page to make it pretty. I would forget I had them. And there would be some things that I had for years and just forgot I had. So I actually, if you've seen any of my past videos with my um, room tour when I was a scrapbooker, then I had pegboards lots of pegboards. I used to have three or four pegboards in here. I would have one for my quick access tools because when I'm crafting I don't want to go hunting for tools to use and I would have one that just displayed some of my stickers you know and bits and pieces that I liked and were pretty but I would find I was forgetting about. I would have them out and displayed and I was a mixture of the two. So I would find that some things, like letter stickers for scrapbooking, for example, I was fine with those being in a drawer because I would know I'd need a letter sticker. So I'd go looking and then I'd see the types that I had. Um, but some things I needed visual. And my craft room very much uses the walls. Um, the bookshelves I have now for diamond painting you know, I have bookshelves so I can see the storage that I've got. I can see the diamond painting that I've got and all that. Uh, but I can also shut my craft room door. So when I'm in the rest of my house where I'm more of a cricket slash ladybug, I can shut out, you know, the visual stuff in my craft room. But in my craft room, I need the visual. Um so maybe this is your time, Denise, while you're doing your renovation to revisit your craft room. Um, determine, you know, maybe what type of style works for you in your craft room. Reorganise, section it, but section it in big categories to start with. You may find that you want to organise it a little bit more. You may not. It will depend on the the style of organizer that you are but if you start I think if you know as I am a I think you know quite a bit a cricket I found that by teaching myself to be a ladybug to start off with and just putting them into the big categories um, the macro categories rather than the micro categories by getting myself to do that first, it puts something in place that keeps me calmer and happy because stuff is away. And then if I find I prefer more of a detailed system, then I create one. A bit like with my file cabinet. I like the fact that I can go in and I can go straight to anything that I need because it is categorised. Um, down by section but I also know that every single time a piece of post comes in through the door if it does need putting away I don't always have the time for it so rather than it being cluttered up and just left on the side and left in piles I have a drawer that it goes into so if paperwork that we need is not in the file and it's recent then it's in that drawer and every now and then I go through the drawer and I put everything away I think it's very important, and I know we do have one implemented in our hallway. Uh, we have a couple of spots, actually. It is important to have, like, 
a a dumping zone and if need be make that pretty with baskets and things in my craft room it's actually the top workspace of my bookmark of my bookshelves I like that to be clear I don't like that to have anything on it decor wise that is my dumping spot so if I have any parcels come in they get put on there if I've got anything that I want to do a video with it gets put on there and I know I'm up to date and everything's sorted when that space is cleared and you should always have or try to have baskets in other areas where you know if you're tidying up and you're returning something to a room it goes in that basket until it can get put away properly or until the person that lives in that room puts it away um, but yeah I do recommend her channel to start thinking about the way that works best for you with organization um, with whatever it is that you do you know I am very happy to like cricket type sort my spare diamonds and to put them into those boxes but I don't always have the time to do it as soon as I've finished a diamond painting so I have a place that 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 storage box goes until I do have the time and then I spend the time and I make a video and I put it away that the cricket in me likes to put it away so yeah I'm a cricket a ladybug and a butterfly all in one I think in different areas of my life and different things um, but I find actually thinking about that really helps me to yeah just be organized in different areas of my life and realize that different things work and in turn different things work for different people in the household so sometimes it's not going to be organized the way I would ideally have it but if it means people put their coats away or throw their keys into a bowl or a basket when they come in the house then that works for me I've got to make it easy and if it's easy it will get done and if it's not it won't so yeah that was completely off tangent from what I thought <laughs> we'd be talking about during um, a waffle but your craft room time sounds the ideal time while your renovations are being done Denise if they've not started already start getting your craft room in the way you like it even if you just get yourself a line of boxes and start pulling them into categories and then decide which area of the room that category needs to go um, you know and use where you go to look for it first as a prompt to where your brain is telling you it needs to go telling you it wants to go Okay, I've got most of the bottom part of her hair done now. Um, Jackie said, thank you, I have found the blue marble case. She says she's ordered it along with the hangers, plus the other colourway of the washi tape. Awesome. Um, I am not against enabling people to purchase things. I'm really not. Or get hooked on Clutterbug on YouTube as well. It all works. I think I've just got a few greens now. I think I tipped out that pot when I didn't really need to. Um, Kimberly said, glad your kitchen refit was a great success. It's me trying to dip into the pot. And the glue dot goes from major sticky to I'm going to drop it. In a heartbeat. Isn't that always the way? Okay, let me get the next one. So, uh, yeah, Kimberly says, hope your kitchen refit was a success and things are getting back to normal for you and your family. Uh, yeah, when you wrote this comment, it was getting back to normal. Now we're on a new different type of normal uh, with a puppy, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, sorry you've been feeling under the weather and hope you're feeling better soon. From Ohio, thank you. Uh, Suzanne, she says, glad to have you back. 
Um, she's glad the remodel is coming to an end. She said she can't imagine how stressful that is. Yeah, I think the worst part was when we had the kitchen part in our bedroom um, and boxes all over the conservatory for the kitchen. It got a lot more manageable, I found, when the boxes for the kitchen went down because, of course, they were going back in the kitchen and I was able to reset up the dining table in the conservatory um, with the temporary kitchen. I found that was a lot more manageable to deal with. It was still a mess, but it felt a bit more like an ordered mess than an unordered mess, than absolute chaos. It definitely got better. Um, she said, it's funny that you said that your washer and dryer are in the kitchen. Um, she grew up in a house in Chicago and her washer and dryer was also in the kitchen. Uh, if a house didn't have a basement, she's pretty sure that's where they went and that was normal to her. She says she doesn't think she'd think twice about it if she saw somebody's washer and dryer in the kitchen, even though she does have a laundry room now. At one point she lived in an apartment and her washer and dryer were in a closet on the balcony outside, she says. Um, I don't think it would matter to me wherever it was, as long as I didn't have to cart my clothes to a laundry mat. She says, I hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, our washer dryer is actually a combi washer dryer. Um, we only have the space in the kitchen for one appliance. So it's been a washer for years. Um, we don't use the dryer as much anymore. We did have a, a, a spat where we were using it quite a bit. We don't really anymore. We try to, especially now it's becoming spring, I try to line dry where possible. Um, it's not normal. I don't know. I don't know. It seems more normal in... America for people to take it straight from the washer put it into the dryer and that's how they do it the UK I don't think it's it's as much of a, a popular thing straight from the washer to the dryer I know there's quite a few clothes that we can't tumble dry um, it's not a yeah it's not a normal thing to tumble dry everything but we do have one built in it's not ideal it, it takes quite a while to dry stuff, but when you need it at a pinch, it's great. Otherwise, it goes on, out on the line or on a radiator or on a maiden. It's where the washing tends to go, and it will dry itself. Eventually. Eventually it does. And that's the one thing I am behind on. Pop. Pup has caused me to be a bit behind on my washing, but we're getting a few sunny days, so I'm trying to get on top of it all. Uh, Army Moa and Jean says, um, I'm happy to have you back and never fear. You have so many videos on both of your channels that when I need something to listen to, uh, they just re-watch an older video. I like it. Uh, she doesn't listen to audiobooks while they craft, listens to whip and chats or storage revamps. Well, you've definitely got a few of those on my channel. Um, while I do love organisation, I, I also am extremely happy changing or revamping organisation in different stages of my life. One type of organisation you may think works, may not. And I'm happy to change it if it doesn't. Um, especially, you know, taking into account who else uses that type of organisation. I'm happy to change it up if it doesn't work for everybody. Or it's only me putting stuff away. That's when I often revamp it. Uh, so I'm sure you'll find a few different, few different types of storage videos from me. Um, for different things. Uh, Sue says thank you for the update on what you've been doing. 
Uh, I know how hectic life can get. Uh, she also has four kids. Um, and we did a total house renovation. Oh my goodness me. It is bad enough when we do one room. I want to do, um, we've got like a, a pantry cupboard. Um, it's sort of partly under the stairs. Um, the door to it's in the kitchen and that's where the bins are and tools are and stuff. I want to do, I want to do a revamp and a sort out in there. But I know as soon as I start taking stuff out of there, it is going to explode all over the kitchen. Um, she says they're all grown up now and have family of their own. So she now has 10 grandkids that she does her paintings for. Wow. Love it. Um, she says, happy dotting and looking forward to your next video. And that's from Sydney, Australia. Thank you, Sue. I couldn't imagine living through a whole house renovation. I say bit by bit for me. But that is another section of Mother Earth done. I hope you'll join me through the week while I get hopefully a few more sections done. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.